in terms of ringgit outlook moving forward, notwithstanding the recent financial market volatility following the U.S. presidential election outcome, the ringgit is expected to be supported by the narrowing interest rate differentials between the U.S. and Malaysia. Additionally, the strong domestic growth and ongoing reforms momentum could also provide further tailwinds for the ringgit. Amid global risks arising from a more gradual reduction in the U.S. policy rate, geopolitical tensions and policy uncertainty post-U.S. election, Banagara Malaysia will continue to ensure a better blend a balance of flows and orderly adjustments uh, in the ringgit. Uh, so Bank Negara had wanted Malaysian businesses to repatriate their earnings from abroad and to convert it to ringgit rather than hold it in USD. Um, have our businesses taken BNM's advice? And also, like, it's a two-part question. So any numbers that BNM can share on that? Has it led to a recent appreciation of the ringgit against the USD? And then my second question is, uh, is the government comfortable with the current level of the ringgit? Has the appreciation brought any impact, positive or negative? If so, what are they? Um, is Bank Nagara looking at um, uh, intervening with um, the ringgit actually uh, going up quite significantly in the last uh, couple of weeks? Maybe I'll talk okay. with the questions first. Yep. Thank you. First, Joe, thanks for the question. In terms of the, um, our efforts in regard to encourage businesses to um, repatriate the export earnings and component to ringgit, and so in terms of encouraging investors to bring back income and component to ringgit, that has yielded a positive outcome, I have to say. If you look in terms of where the ringgit was, uh, for example, um, ringgit appreciated by 10% um, this year, when we started between 26 February to 20 October. And in terms of the uh, nominal effective exchange rate, that also appreciated by 9.8%. And one more is that in terms of, if you look at the average daily uh, forex turnover, it has increased from uh, 15 billion to 18 billion. And we have seen a healthy two-way flow in the market. And you have also seen in terms of appreciation in the ringgit itself. So that has definitely uh, benefited uh, the ringgit. <coughs> In terms of uh, level of ringgit, it's not about the targeted level or certain level, but what's more important is that in terms of uh, it should be reflective of the fundamentals of the Malaysian economy, and it should be reflective of the prospect of the Malaysian economy. So what we have seen is that um, with the changes in the policy shifts, monetary policy shifts in the advanced economy, particularly in the US, we have seen the ringgit depreciating. And added with the tailwind that we have in terms of the fundamentals that we have, in terms of the uh, strong prospects of growth that we have seen, and also coupled with the um, reform measures that has been undertaken by the government. So this has actually provided uh, good support for the ringgit. Ada report kata uh, Malaysia dah, US dah remove kita punya dalam watch list tu. Apa pandangan Benegara lah? <coughs> yes, I think we welcome this development in terms of we've been removed from the currency manipulator watch list. And I think just to highlight that um, this shows that ringgit has always been a market determined, a, a determined currency, and we never use exchange rate to gain competitiveness in the market. So this is something that affirms uh, our belief and affirms our position uh, on this matter. It's a welcome development 